Hey, are you trying to get some uh, bark for your 511 mix? Let me show you how to do it the cheap way. This is how I do it. Let's jump right in. You're gonna need a couple bags of pine bark mulch. I got this from the local big box store, Lowe's. A container to hold your bark half inch garden wire and a bucket and let me show you how to get this done so first thing you do is you bust open one of these bags pour some on top let me get a glove on real quick so I don't get no splinters Here it is. Never been a big, never been a big fan of that splinters in my hand. And you take this mulch and you just slowly just work it in. All the half inch is falling through. And you're gonna repeat this process until you get through all your bags of mulch. And the bonus of this is now the stuff that doesn't fall through is you'll be able to use this for your top dressing containers this is the way to do it just rinse and repeat the reason why i really enjoy doing this i enjoy making my own 511 mix and sometimes i just don't have the funds to go buy a reptile bar or it depends where you live at you're not going to have the opportunity to go buy pine bark that's between three eighths and a quarter inch so this way you'll be able to make your own and save yourself a whole bunch of money All right, I got probably all I'm going to get to fall through. So I have a bucket here. And you take it. Dump it in the bucket and repeat. I'll do this for an entire bag and I'll be able to show you how much one large bag will produce. And just let you know, this bag only cost me four bucks. So about after 10 minutes, I was able to get through one entire bag of pine bark mulch from Lowe's. And you see there's a bunch of woody pieces in here. So this is the downfall of using pine bark mulch out of a bag. It has all the right size particulates, less than a half inch. Except for you do get a bunch of little wood pieces. You want to try to go through your mix and try and move all the wood pieces that you possibly can. Because pine bark itself won't break down in your mulch or in your containers, robbing of nitrogen. But all these little woody pieces, that will, over time, as it breaks down, rob your mix of um, nitrogen. So this, this is the painful part. This is what takes the longest when you screen your own. So you just try to go through and get rid of all pine bark. So out of a bag, you probably get about half to a third per bag. So at four bucks, you're gonna be able to do a five, gallon container do two should get about 10 that's an approximate each bag is is a little bit different make sure you get rid of the rocks and all the particulates and then you'll have some fine pine bark way cheaper than going to buy like reptile bark or the expensive bags already pre-done hey hit like if you like that was that money saving tip i just gave you there that's my pro tip for this month for the group hey and this beginning of fall I still have two more months of beautiful 80 to 90 degree weather. It's the only reason why I'm getting this done because I'm going to be doing a repot here real soon. Have a blessed day and I'll see you in the next video.